All right, impromptu rest off the old quad. First up is going to be the uh, Russian Soviet SKS with the Soviet era 762 by 39 ammo. Three shots. This Soviet stuff is stinky. It smells like rotten eggs when you fire it. Let's go see how that target looks. There's my shadow of my big ass head. Anyway, that's uh, three shots, 50 paces with the um, Russian surplus. Yeah, I got about two inch, nothing special. My eyes suck, I'm terrible with open sight. So let's try the uh, check stuff. Okay, we're gonna try this check ammo in the uh, Russian SKS again, because it is shooting way high. We'll hold, we'll hold a six o'clock hold on this puppy and see how it looks. All right, let's go see if that's any better. So there's the check at 50 paces. I could, you know, there's a lot more potential there for accuracy, that's for sure. Those are the top ones there. That was a center hold high, six o'clock hold right at the point of the diamond. So I think there's more potential to that if I can just get my uh, sight pictures a little clearer. So let's try the Chinese one with the check M was next. All right, so this is the Chinese SKS with check ammo, 50 paces. Trigger is just horrendous. And these wings on here don't help for the sight picture either. So let's slow us down and see how that looks. So here's the uh, check ammo in the Chinese SKS. As you can see, point of aim there, point of impact down here. It's a little bit lower than the uh, Russian SKS with the same load. So it's very important to make sure that you uh, know the point of aim and point of impact with the load that you're shooting in that particular rifle at that given time. All right, last but not least is gonna be the uh, Soviet ammo into, through the uh, Chinese SKS. Clear follow through is almost impossible with this rifle. The trigger's so darn bad. I had a pretty good sight picture on that one. It looks like the same as with the check M with it. Uh, this one shoots considerably lower at 50 yards than the uh, Soviet SKS does. Looks about a very similar group, but let's go down around and take a look. All right, there's the Soviet stuff. Same thing, as you can see, that was a center hold, so as you can see, the point of aim, point of impact on this SKS at 50 paces is definitely different. It's a little, it shoots low at 50. But that's neither here nor there. Let's uh, go back and uh, lay these targets all out so we can have a good look at them. Now this one here is the Russian SKS with the Russian ammo. Point of impact, point of aim, identical. Group, not so great. Now, Russian SKS with the Czech surplus ammo. One, two, three shots. Point of aim, center hold. Point of impact, low. So that's telling me that with the Czech ammo, it shoots low. But the accuracy potential, I think, is pretty darn good for the Czech. Now here's the Chinese SKS. 
This is with the Soviet surplus and this is with the Czech surplus. Virtually identical. Um, maybe a slight accuracy going towards the Soviet, but not too much. So what does this point out, guys? What does this prove? Not a damn thing. Just shows that at this moment in time, this is where these guns are shooting for me. Your uh, what your results may vary, but it gives you a good idea that these the Czech and the Soviet surplus 762 by 39 I think are two peas in the pod. They're very very similar in accuracy. They function fine. I think the Russian stuff might just be a little bit hotter just because of the um, the way it ejects, and uh, the Soviet stuff is definitely stinkier. But um, you know whatever you can, whichever one of these you can find for uh, for price. They're virtually all identical. Steel cased, steel case, um, corrosive. Now, of course, with these being corrosive, you guys, you know, we need to get these guns cleaned here shortly. Just a good hot water bath will do for now. So uh, there you have it, guys. Soviet SKS, Chicom SKS. Which do I like better? I like the Russian one better. Just it, it seems to be put together a little nicer. It smooths the triggers a lot smoother. The sight's a little nicer. Two peas in a pod, really. Whichever one you can afford, whichever one you can get a hold of, grab one. Keep a couple, keep a couple around, couple for extra, keep a couple for barter rounds, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm starting to babble here. So anyway, thanks for watching. Later.